Hi everybody, I'm Donnie Reed from Baker Air Guns and All Things Air Gun. Today, I want to introduce you to the Pellet Gauge R. This is the latest evolution of the original pellet gauge. If you're not familiar with the pellet gauge, it's a device used to sort pellets for head size. I'm sure we can all agree that to shoot consistently, you have to shoot the most consistent ammunition you can get. In that endeavor, I sort my pellets that I shoot in competitions. Uh, I used to use the original pellet gauge and I still do. Uh, both the original pellet gauge and the pellet gauge R work differently and they both have their uses. Uh, now I'll get to this one in a second, but the original pellet gauge works as a go, no go gauge. Uh, it has different sizes on it and you take a pellet one at a time and you put it up to the hole and it either will go or will no go through the hole. Now, this is an effective tool, it is an outstanding tool, but it takes a long time to sort a whole tin of pellets with it. That brings us to the Pellet Gauge R. Uh, this, this season I'm shooting a Daystate Wolverine R in 177 uh, as my main field target gun. It prefers, and I tested it extensively, but it prefers the JSB Old Monster 13.43 grain pellet with a 4.51 millimeter head size. And I have determined this through testing and through using the original pellet gauge so that I knew what sized pellets I was shooting through the gun. Now that I have determined what size I need, in comes the pellet gauge R. This pellet gauge R is essentially two layers of pellet gauge. One is one size larger than the pellet you need and the other is one size smaller than the pellet you need. Because of that, and there are 48 holes on this new pellet gauge R, uh, and because of that you're sorting 48 pellets at a time. Although I sort slightly less and I'll get to that in a second. But basically, you put pellets on here and they either will go through the top gauge or they won't. And if they don't go through that, they're too big. Now, if they go the whole way through and get caught by the skirt, then they're too small. They've gone through the smaller size underneath. If they're the correct size, they'll act like this pellet did and they'll get caught in the middle. You'll get a slight protrusion where the dome, the head of the pellet sticks through, but the whole pellet head hasn't gone through. This pellet has been captured and is therefore the correct size. Now, what's so sweet about this? Like I said, you can do 48 at a time. There's 48 holes on here. And instead of taking these one at a time and checking each and every one through multiple holes, you simply Take the pellet gauge R, and I'll zoom you in here. You take the pellet gauge R, you pour out what looks like about 40 or so pellets on there. You give it a shake, and all these pellets magically find themselves a hole. Now, granted, I'm kind of doing this uh, haphazardly, <laughs> dumping a few off here, but I think you're seeing uh, in the close-up just how this works. You just shake it, and they go in. Okay, so now they're in, they're in. Now you just give them the most gentle tap the most gentle tap to make sure that they are in the holes and that uh, you know you don't want to force them or anything you just want to make sure they're aligned correctly and there you go we've just sorted this many pellets none of them were too large which I find is typical with this ammunition so every one of them has gone into a hole and as you can see underneath and I can tell from up top here there's one pellet right there that stick in the whole way through, whereas the others are just barely, the, just the dome is sticking through, it's been captured. And that's because that pellet right there is too small. So now I can reject this single pellet and I have just sorted the rest of these for their correct 4.51 millimeter head size. We just tap them out of here and put them in a container and that's it. And then you start over, pour some more on there, give it some shakes, get them all in the hole. 
I might have put too many on this time. Oh, see. Now that's why I don't like to do the whole 48. Um, you can end up having to pick off a few because all your holes are used up. Okay, but anyway, there you go. Uh, I've dumped them on there. Now I'll just give them the most gentle tap just to make sure they're lined up. I'm not trying to force these pellets through. I'm just making sure that they're all squared up with their hole. Okay, now this time, look, we did find one that's too big. That one won't go in the hole. So we put him to the side. That's a B pile pellet for me. I'd shoot it for practice, but not in a competition. And let's see, oh, we have two. We have two here that are too small. So we kick those out. And the rest of these are the correct size. And that is how fast you can head size pellets now. That was at least 60, 70 pellets I just head sized in a matter of a few minutes, a few minutes. Now, if you've used an original pellet gauge to do this, I'm sure that what you just saw was incredible and you're gonna be buying one of these immediately. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Jeff, I'm sure I'll hear from you. <laughs> but uh, that's how much quicker the pellet gauge R is than the original pellet gauge. If you sort pellets, then I believe you should strongly uh, consider a pellet gauge R. Uh, if you don't sort pellets, you should. And I'll get to that in a future video. Thank you for watching. You can find these at bakerairguns.com. They're on our website in 4.51 ideal size and 4.52 ideal size. Ideal size being the size you want. Uh, you can check out the prices, availability, and everything on the website. And again, I'd definitely consider sorting pellets if you don't. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.